Hi guys, it's Colette, and today as part of my Manny vs. Pin series, I'm going to be working on this really easy white and gold stamped Greek key design. If you'd like to see more nail art, be sure you subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to apply my base coat. As usual, I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. For my base color, I just wanted a nice plain white, so I'm going to be using OPI Alpine Snow, and probably do two coats of this, although it is quite opaque as you can see, and then also add a layer of top coat just to help speed up the dry time before I move on to the stamping. Moving on to the stamping, I'm going to be using this little Greek key design on Conad Image Plate S6. I'm going to be using my trusty old Conad scraper, and yes it is metal, and no I do not care. Most of my old Conad plates are pretty scratched up, but for whatever reason, this scraper has always worked best for me. I, With Conad, I never had any luck with plastic scrapers. I don't know why. And for my stamping polish, I'm actually going to be using Misa Ghetto Fabulous. The inspiration for this manicure is actually a little softer of a metallic gold. Well, this is really bright and kind of shimmery but this polish has always worked really good for me for stamping and after a little bit of testing I decided to go with this because none of my chromes were cooperating and then I'm going to be using my Bliss Kiss Clear Stamper and as a note the last time I used this I asked if anyone knew how to get this little cover off and I don't remember who but thank you for the suggestion to take off the stamper head and push from the inside that did work but it actually made the stamper react a little bit differently with the cap on and the air trapped in there the stamper is actually a little kind of springier and when I took it off it was actually a little softer a little smushier so for this I'm going to try it with the cap on eventually I'd also like to try it with the cap off and just see which which gives me a better feel, which really works best. But uh, it was kind of interesting. It wasn't something I'd really thought about before. But I'm going to just apply a little bit of this. Go ahead and scrape across. Pick it up on my stamper, which there, you can kind of see. And I'm going to be aiming this at the very base of my nail and oh I got just a little bit I'm not sure if that's even gonna show up on camera I gotta pay a little bit better attention there but I got just a little bit of extra gold up here the nice thing about having some top coat on is that I can easily clean that up without ruining my white base so I've got that nice little accent on the bottom there going to clean off my plate and repeat that for all my nails. Since I didn't use any latex, I do have just a little bit of cleanup around the cuticle. And while I do that, just a couple things to mention as far as stamping. 
You probably noticed there were a few times where I picked up the image and then didn't stamp it. Those were times when the image did not completely transfer, didn't transfer cleanly, and that just happens sometimes. Uh, it's pretty easy to just, you know, clean off the stamper and try again. And the second thing I wanted to mention as far as the little extra bits that I was getting on my nail that I didn't want, you also have the option of cleaning those off on the stamper before applying to your nail. But since it was so minor, and since I did use a top coat uh, on top of the white, I chose not to do that. So you'll discover your own preference as you stamp more often. Um, and same with the latex. These last couple that I've done haven't been too bad as far as the cleanup and as far as the polishes. Now, when you're stamping with black polish, that can be a hassle to clean up. And if I were doing something that was going to have a lot of overhang, I probably would use latex for that. But it's just your personal preference, like so many things with nail art. But now that I have that cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and it's a pretty subtle design, but I really like it. It's kind of a nice change of pace from some of my more complicated or more colorful designs. And I really like a stark white nail, which is something I tend to forget because I just don't do it very often. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this is part of my Manny vs. Pin series. And the pin that inspired this was by Chit Chat Nails. I'll have both my pin and her Instagram page linked down in the information box. So be sure to check those out if you're interested. Of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this one. And I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned next week because that will be my birthday manicure. And you guys know I always love to have something special on my nails for my birthday. So if you'd like to see the peel porn for this, just stay tuned. And if not, as always, thanks for watching. I did enjoy wearing this manicure, but because it is plain, it also did get a little bit boring. So I'm taking this off after only two days of wear, and I'm hoping it just comes off nicely. Sometimes if I take a mani off very quickly, Seems like the peel off isn't quite ready to let go yet, but we'll see how this goes. Hope you guys enjoy.